All right, I got a 5.42 valve engine I'm about to take apart. Thought I might just show you guys a little bit of the process and uh, we can kind of check out the engine together. If some of you follow my Instagram, you'll see that I talked about meeting this lady that had a property full of cars and some other things. And I got a bunch of vacuum cleaners uh, from her for a project. And uh, she actually gave me a 2000 Explorer that this engine is out of. And she gave me a burnt Crown Vic, which I removed that rear end out of that you saw in the previous video where I removed that broken pin from. I was able to make some money off some parts already, but I'm hoping that I can, uh, if these cylinder heads are decent, I could sell these cylinder heads. I'm basically just interested in keeping the block and uh, the crankshaft. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart, see how things look. I could possibly use some of the pulleys and stuff too. This was sitting without an intake manifold and a hood for I'm not sure how long. There was a bunch of crud in here, like a rat's nest. I cleaned all this out, uh, shop vacuumed it, blew it out. Your guess is as good as mine to see how rusty the cylinders are. Or if the engine block itself really isn't that rusty. I've seen plenty of good motors that were really rusty right here, so kind of curious on that. Um, but my plan is to get the cylinder heads off so I can sell them, and then I'll have an extra block, crank, and some other parts uh, laying around uh, for the station wagon. After that, I'll have a couple extra blocks and cranks and. So if I, uh, once I start rebuilding motors and screwing things up, uh, it won't be a big deal. I'll have uh, some stuff laying around. So I'm not gonna go too far in depth, you know, on the process, but we're gonna wanna get the pulleys off, um, power steering pump, get that AC condenser or AC pump off, get all the pulleys off, valve covers, then we'll pull the timing chain, pull the cylinder heads, uh, and then I can go ahead and take the block, all the internals out of the block. All right, so I went ahead and removed a lot of the hoses and stuff for the power steering and the heater hoses set up that go uh, towards the cooling part on the oil jacket where the oil filter goes and the cooling is. Went ahead and removed the valve covers. Actually, it looks pretty decent in there. Uh, it looks better than uh, I was expecting. It doesn't look like there's any real damage to the cams or any real sludge buildup, anything like that. I had to remove the oil uh, water pump too. That was pretty rusty. Uh, they were probably running uh, just straight water in this. But I tried turning it over a little bit. It's not seized, but it doesn't really want to turn over without some force. So I sprayed a little bit of WD-40 in there, um, and I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead and take the cylinder heads off, and then uh, wor worry about getting it to turn over. But first, before I take the uh, timing cover off the front, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off the AC pump and the power steering pump. I went ahead and removed the power steering pump pulley also because it was just a, uh, with the size wrench I had, it was in the way of the line. So, yeah, here's the other side. Doesn't look too bad either. All right, so I've been working at getting the engine apart. Um, I tried to turn it over a couple separate times and I wasn't really getting anywhere. I just, uh, I was feeling some resistance. So I knew I didn't want to damage anything. I would have rather had the crank in a little better position, but uh, for taking it apart, kind of knowing it's a rough engine, uh, I wasn't really too worried. First thing I noticed on this side, uh, this one cylinder has water in it. So because they had the intake off and open to the elements, it was just allowing water to get inside. But I was kind of looking at uh, the second cylinder in, and that's what's holding it up, all that rust and crud right there. So basically just a bunch of stuff got in there and is stopping the piston. Cylinder heads don't look too bad, um, especially this one. This other cylinder head, you can tell uh, stuff was coming in the valve and that was sitting where the rust was. I don't really see any damage anywhere. I think the uh, intake manifold was damaged and uh, someone swapped this engine in because of that or went to swap intake manifolds and just never finished working on it. This block doesn't seem like too bad of a core either and I, I feel, I'm feeling like the crank is pretty good, but uh, we'll see. All right, so I went through all the cylinders with the die grinder and the wire brush on and uh, cleaned all the rust out on the inside 
And uh, just by doing that and a little bit of lubrication, got it all freed up. And I'll be able to get it apart. The rust definitely damaged the inside. There's like some pitting and stuff you can feel. This block would definitely need some machine work uh, before it could be used again. All right, so I went ahead and got the pistons out uh, without too much trouble. All the bearings looked in really good shape, all the rod bearings. Um, this is one thing you wanna look out for with these engines, getting this uh, rear main seal cover off. And sometimes where it bolts up can get in the way. Like you see right now, I can't really get it off. Um, but luckily with this uh, engine stand setup, I was able to get to all the bolts. And then uh, once I get the crank out, um, I'll just pull the crank forward, and then I'll be able to take that back plate out. One thing that threw me uh, for a loop, here's the oil pan. Um, and inside was this broken piece of metal right here. And it took me a second, then I realized, uh, you know, it's part of the windage tray right here. The only thing that throws me off is there's not really any much other metal in there, and the whole bottom end seems like it's in really good shape. If I honestly had to take a guess, I think this oil pan is from another engine. Um, so this could be the oil pan from the original engine that was damaged. That's just me taking a guess. Besides the rust in the cylinder wells, this is the only damage I found in like the whole engine. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the crank out and that's pretty much it. All right, so there's the engine block all stripped down, uh, ready to go into storage. Here's some of the parts uh, that I'm gonna divvy up and either sell or keep. This was a good deal for me not to pass on. This engine actually had headers on it and in the truck it was just sat in there. Nothing was connected so I was able to just go over and uh, rip it out. I made about $120 on the headers I sold off of it. We'll see how much I sell the cylinder heads for and then I get the crank and the block. And, um, overall this is going to work out pretty good for you know parts and money. If you guys have any more questions about anything or need help with something just let me know. Alright later. Mm -hmm.